Uh, we have more questions coming up. So if you don't mind, can I relay one of the questions from Liao? Liao Ziyi, okay. So basically the question is, why don't you think the journalists would play a bigger role or let's say that have a bigger voice, stronger voice in terms of, you know, countering those non-facts and misinformation, right? That given by this, uh, you know, uh, politicians and supposedly authoritative sources that journalists rely on, right, for our livelihood indeed in terms of reporting the news. Why don't you think the American journalists or media in general, as you said, the mainstream media, wanted to speak a little bit louder with their own voice in terms of, you know, this political struggles in daily reporting or even, of course, more so under the pandemic? Well, I think they, they do talk a lot about it, but it's, it's in more like analytic pieces or opinion pieces or when they get called on CNN or MSNBC to discuss it live or something like that. Um, but they, they still want to maintain the credibility um, so they can't speak as a, as, a, as a journalist about it in that way. If they do it a bit more personally or they they do it as an analysis or something like that, then they can kind of dig a bit deeper into uh, it. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're academic like me or you're a commentator, you can say, well, Trump is doing this because he's narcissistic or a sociopathic, but you, if you're a mainstream journalist, you obviously you can't say that, right? Even if you tweet it, you could get in trouble. So trying to get a bit deeper in explaining it is, is, you know, is something that journalists have been struggling with and it's and it's very they've decided that they don't want to do it if in the normal in the normal like breaking news journalistic style they figured this is something that we keep for opinion pieces and analysis because we don't want to appear to be that biased against trump so yeah so do you think it's still a problem like the bottom line of objectivity or professionalism that the journalists and our, also our journalist students have been trained, you know, in, in, in journalism schools that you, you cannot, right? You need to suppress your subjective voice and whatever you call it, bias, etc. So you still have to, you know, very easily for many fall into this, you said, he said and she said model of kind of lazy reporting. Do you think it's an avoidable trend then? Well, that because it's it's hard to avoid that because that's what you if you want to be a professional journalist then that's what you have to do. So you you risk losing everything if you don't do that. So why would people risk risk doing that even in the face of, of a situation like this? Right? If they do it properly, even if it's misleading people, nobody nobody is, will get fired for balancing a story. Right. So the, the, I basically, I think there's no benefit professionally for them doing it. Uh, and a lot of them think that is, it's, it's necessary to do that, maybe. Um, if they didn't, they wouldn't be working for C, CNN or MSNBC, would they? 